Hey guys, this is Rick from Review Blocks, and today we have a very special guest with us. It's Eurovision winner Emily De Forest. Hi, Emily, good to see Hi, you. Hi, you too. <laughs> Um, Emily, um, you are finally back um, with your concerts or with little gigs after all these uh, pandemic situations which yeah. uh, really were hard for all of the artists probably. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be back on stage? Well, it feels really great. I mean, it's... Uh, I had to kind of get used to it again because like you said, you know, I've just been sitting at home like writing songs <laughs> okay. in my underpants basically and didn't really have to go anywhere so all of a sudden to be in front of an audience again you have to get used to that but it's so much fun so it's great being back and be able to play gigs again for sure and for eurovision fans you're of course the queen eurovision royalty you you won the contest um do you think this helped your career uh, i mean yeah I, i think it's hard to say what i would have done if i hadn't won i mean nobody knows but What I wanted to do was to make a living for music and do that full time, and I have been able to do that for more than eight years now. Yeah. So, and I don't know what would have happened. It's, it's, you don't know. But, uh, but I moved to Copenhagen to just to do music and write, write songs, and and I really got an opportunity with that uh, with Eurovision. So if you want to make a living from your music and travel the world and play a lot of fun gigs and release music, it's great. But if you want to cross over to mainstream radio, it can be difficult. I've done that with some singles, but it's it, your vision is kind of its own world in a way compared to rest of the music business. Okay. And speaking of Copenhagen, um, Denmark yeah. last uh, no this year uh, Denmark finally sent a song in Danish to Eurovision, yeah, but it didn't uh, it didn't qualify. Um, do you think uh, Denmark should go back to send English songs or what do you think about the language? I don't know if it has to be English songs. I mean, if you look at Portugal, you know, but... Okay, Salvador. It's, it's, a, it's in Portuguese and it's like, I don't want to be talking trash about my own language. But Danish, Danish is not Portuguese or French or Italian. Yeah, yeah. It's not as pretty to sing in. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> Swedish is beautiful. I'm half Swedish. I can say that. But, but Danish is not always a great language to sing in. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I thought it was also maybe more kind of like the 80s prestige thing that we did. I think we as Danes think it's super fun. But I think the Eurovision crowd maybe didn't like it. It's kind of like a throwback to the 80s in Denmark where where Eurovision was a bit kitsch, you know. and. Mm. And they, they thought it was super fun to do, but I think that's maybe not what we need in Denmark at the moment. I, th I would love to see songs that we see more of in Melody Festival in Sweden, because that's what I think we need in Denmark now. And okay. not, not fun prestige, even though it, it is fun, but we're well, not going to win with we, a song like we'll that. We'll see in the, in the future what Denmark yeah. will send to you. Yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> yeah. And now we, of course, have to talk about your new music. Yeah. Yesterday you performed your new song for the very first time uh, here in Germany, in Stuttgart. Yeah. Um, could you tell us a bit more about your song? Um, typical love song it's yeah. called? Yeah, what it's all about. Well, it's a typical love song. <laughs> um, it's, um, yeah, it's really fun. It just it happened like out of the blue. I, I had contact um, with a publisher that I've worked with and he got this idea that we should do an interpolation as it's called of uh, Alphaville Speak in Japan, their 80s hits. Oh, okay. um, and uh, so me and uh, three other writers um, and producer, we um, wrote this song Uh, it's from a music uh, academy, a songwriting academy in Sweden, uh, which is very famous. All the great people went there. So me and those uh, three writers wrote the song. And uh, then we had to get the approval from Alphaville because, you know, if they don't like it, you don't get to release it. I oh, mean, and they okay. say no to a lot of people. I know so many friends who was turned down who did an interpolation of songs, uh, but they loved it. Uh, oh, they really loved it. So they approved. And uh, yeah, that's, that's how that happened. Um, but yeah, it's been very special I mean, in general working these last one and a half 
years because you know it's been on zoom and i was very skeptical in in the beginning but you know it really works when you get used to it and you prepare so uh, i have a lot of other songs also that i hope will be released okay. next year well i can say this uh, song is very fun uh, we we heard it's it yesterday live from it's, what i've done previously yeah, and it's yeah. fun to get the opportunity to do something so different and sing you know you can sing a song in so many ways i did like four full demos of the song and i wasn't satisfied because i have mostly i have like a more darker voice but it just didn't fit the vibe of this song so i had to play with it and make it really light and be more like talky and it was really fun yeah and for everyone who uh, did not already heard the song where can people find it oh, on the normal uh, every streaming service i think so <laughs> available like DJ check out Apple music spotify, spotify youtube yeah. i mean everywhere <laughs> <laughs> and i also saw the music video it's uh, also very fun oh, yeah it's kind of um, I did like a couple of teasers. Actually, the real music video will come out hopefully next week. Okay. Um, I'm actually uh, filming it and cutting it myself with my boyfriend. So, you know, really trying to be creative and use a green screen. But uh, you know, it, it, I want to make it perfect before I release it. But uh, we got all the material now. So hopefully next week there will be a full music video okay. to see. So, um, the last question: What uh, do you have to say for all your fans uh, in Europe or all over the world? Um, well, it's first of all, it's it's so great to be out playing gigs again, as I mentioned uh, earlier, and I really, really hope to see you, if not this year, then next year um, for live gigs somewhere in Europe. I really hope that. Um, and stream typical love song. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Emily. Thanks. Have a good uh, day here in yeah, Stuttgart. Yeah, you too. Thank Thanks. you.